With the weather turning a little colder, all those great recipes for soups and stews are really enticing. This week, the Global Gourmet shows us how to make them safely using a crock pot. Crock pots are wonderful because they really help out the busy cooks because you could put it together real, cook, real quick and then in the evening come home and there it is. On we, the haul, we, independent weight so, loss coach believes in easy recipes things. that are healthy so and delicious. Crock pot things. cooking definitely uh, fits the bill. However, Alma stresses that with safe. this method of cooking, of all, it's easy to forget uh, to be safe. Go. We're gonna make sure that the temperature is right. Temperatures between 40 and 140 Fahrenheit fall into a danger zone. Alma had so, several tips to avoid that danger zone. Own, such as not using frozen foods in the crock pot and watching the amount of food and liquid you use. Don't overfill your slow cooker. Fill it to no less than half full and no more than two thirds. So you want to make sure those are some of the safety things you want to look at. Um, and in the case of leftovers, you refrigerate it within two hours. So any leftovers, you don't leave it sitting all day. Once it's done cooking, then you wait a couple hours and then you, of course you uh, put it in a different container and then you try to refrigerate it. Alma prepared a hearty and nutritious taco soup, emphasizing reducing the fat while holding on to flavor. So if you want to pre-brown your meats, I did pre-brown my uh, hamburger before I put it in there. Um, I, I did, you could use some different sprays. They have the olive oil sprays that you could use that are a little bit. If you do a spray, it is, you would get less fat than when you're uh, actually, you know, putting it on in a spoon or something like that. She listed the other ingredients. I also put in there some diced tomatoes, and they're a good source of vitamin A and C, so that's nice. Uh, some pinto beans, and then uh, if you'd like, you could even put in, I didn't put in this time the black beans, but that is a variety you could put in. You could just get creative with your beans. So this is how easy it could be. Brown your hamburger, a little bit of your onion, open some cans, or if you've had them soaked, put them in there. Yours, maybe if you don't want the meat, you don't have to have the meat, but you put in there the ingredients and you let it sit for four hours. Easy peasy, you're done. For those who prefer a meatless diet, Alma introduced her colleague, Pallavi, who offered a vegetarian chili. The main thing is the beans. And then it also has, um, I added an onion, just diced it up, carrot, vitamin A, garlic, great anti-inflammatory properties in garlic. Please use garlic. It's really good. It will, you might stink, but that's okay. You carry a Tic Tac with you. Great benefits. I use the organic frozen corn, and like she said, I thawed it before adding it to the crock pot. And I use the mini peppers, the red and the yellow bell peppers. Just chop it really fine and throw it in. Uh, all the, the colors of the rainbow is what we should really be having. They have a lot of phytochemicals, which are nutrients that you cannot get in a bottle. It has to be eaten whole. Pallavi likes to avoid added salt that might come from canned foods. I still drain it and wash it so any excess salt will get washed off. Both Alma and Pallavi stress that creativity is the key to delicious crock pot cooking. I added all the spices written in the uh, recipe, cumin, cayenne pepper, red, but cooking is versatile. You can tweak it, add, omit to your liking. And with these two great recipes, one final wish. So that's all I wanted to say, and I hope everyone has a healthy life. Stay healthy. This is Kathy Whiteman reporting. For details about the next Global Gourmet cooking class, call the Valley Ranch Library at 972-721-4669.